Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I've got some eBay sales uh, to show you some raw cards and then one sealed wax box that I sold. Uh, so we'll start off here with this base Adley, Topps Finest Rookie. Um, this is part of a lot I got. I got um, quite a bit of just Adley rookies for like seven bucks, so slowly chipping away. I'm just saying I'm into each card for like 50 cents there. Um, sold this one for three bucks, so it should be a dollar, buck fifty. I'll just call it a dollar for the video, round down and be conservative. But um, yes, if I make a dollar on every card in that lot, there was like 14 of them, 15 of them, make 15 bucks pretty easily. So that's the goal there. Um, <clears throat> I've had this one for a while. Uh, sold this one for just under two dollars, so a dollar profit. Pretty much into it for nothing though. The Alec Bone rookie um, from Topps Chrome. This is out of the silver pack, so dollar profit there. <laughs> this is a break even. Brian Robinson Jr. got it for a little over a dollar, I think. Sold it for about two dollars or something. So uh, maybe like a twenty-five cent loss or something, but. You know just getting out of that it's a cheap card um i think i could have done better with it if the centering was better but you know i was buying in bulk i wasn't really paying attention to the centering if it's centered i could probably sell it for like 350 or four but it's like a psa six maybe so psa seven will be will be nice psa seven here's another one i want even on um this one i'm fine with going even i didn't buy it to make a profit uh it's the shohei bowman chrome number to 499 refractor i bought it to try and grade it uh it's off center top bottom pretty clearly there top bottom centering not great uh probably an eight or a nine um you know it didn't have like any surface scratches or anything that's just the uh the top layer that scratched there so i mean it's a clean card other than the centering but just wasn't going to grade well so to break even on that i'm happy with buying a card that when it doesn't turn out to grade well i can break even on um yeah Next card here, another card part of that lot. Sold this one for three bucks, two dollars profit on this. This is an Adley. Um, this is from 2023 Heritage. That's his rookie. I still need I need to top load this before I ship it out, but um, yeah, should be should be nice. Couple bucks there again, dollar or two on every card in that lot. Make 15, 20 bucks. Here's one I got graded at Kershaw. Bought this for five bucks. Graded it for 16. So we'll just say I'm into it for like 22, 23. I sold this for 24. So it's probably about a $3 loss on a nine. Can't complain there. If it had been a 10, it would have been a 20, $25 gain at least. But Kershaw continues to pitch well. One of the few pitchers I'd consider sending in a parallel. But I mean, the logo fractures just look nice. I've just, I'm, I've had about 50 50 grading on them. So it's, it's tough for me to tell exactly, you know, what's wrong with them. Next up here, nice flip with the Paulo. Bought this one for, I think it was about 15. Uh, ended up selling it for just over 25, so a profit here. Probably about six, seven dollars. Uh, I really wanted to sell it for like 30, try to get like 10 or 11 out of it. But uh, selling this here for 25, I'm fine with it. You know, flipped it within a couple of weeks. Just keep doing that with more cards similar to this instead of, you know, the lower end two, three dollar cards. If I can do it with 20, 25 dollar cards and be, you know, flipping them for 20, 25%. That's kind of where I want to be. So, you know, a nice Paulo there. Obviously just the, the napkin patch would have been cool to have maybe a, a pinstripe or something there, but still a nice profit. This is a really cool card. I got this in a break. Uh, sold this for $8. Jalen Waddle, rookie from Gridiron Kings. It's the pink. Oh no, on the back, it's Michael Carter. So it's a misprint air card. Um, sold it for, I've had it up for a while. Sold it for eight bucks, you know, extremely happy about that so profit five or six dollars from that one um just because i already made my money back from that break i think i hit a parallel or something and <clears throat> graded it and sold it um so yeah eight bucks there and then last card again i thought i could sell this for five i thought you know it's durant it wasn't numbered that was the problem so some of these here are like tricolored number to 149 or 175 this one was just the red white and blue Kind of hard to tell with uh with select nowadays what's what so that's honestly just a buying error on me you know if it had been numbered it would have sold for more but break even sold it for two buy it for one it's probably why it sold for so low probably would have sold on auction for like three to five if it had been numbered so that's on me but still break even on that that's all right and then last one here could take out the bubble wrap for you but it's uh 2023 top scrum hobby box i sold it on ebay for 180 um 
I'd already, I bought one of these and a jumbo from Topps, uh, from the Topps website, Rip the Jumbo, once I realized that that's probably the better thing to rip. I didn't want to rip both, I just wanted to buy both and then sell the one that, you know, wasn't as good before, you know, prices on one or the other one up. So, I, so honestly, like, I bought it for 150 If I were to buy it now off eBay, it would cost me close to 200 with fees and everything, but it only ended up being pretty much a break even. Maybe made like $5 off of it, but still happy to get rid of that, get some money back and put it into something else. Um, you know, that was my plan going in, buy both of those and sell the one that just isn't as good of a rip for me. Rip the other one for the channel, which I did. So those are my sales here. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, comment any other video ideas you have down below in the comment section, eBay store link in the description as always if you're interested. It's always 2K for life.